some rear facing only seats in the US, like this one, allow what's called a European belt path when you're installing the seat without the base. All rear facing only seats when you're installing them without the base start out the same way where you run the lap belt over the baby's lap area. But the European belt path adds an extra step where you pass the shoulder belt around the back of the seat and into a special guide in the back. This allows for a safer, more secure installation that protects the baby's brain and spine better. However, some seat belts are going to be too short or seem too short to go around the back. As we've shown in another video, there's what we call the tipping trick, which works for many seats to allow you to fit the shoulder belt around the back. However, for seats like this Duna, as well as the Cybex Cloud Q and the Peg Perigo 4 to 35, where the lap belt goes through the carrier's handle and the handle rests against the back of the vehicle seat, the tipping trick will not work. In these situations, we have another trick to allow you to get the shoulder belt around the back when the belt seems like it would otherwise be too short to allow for this. The first thing I want you to do is take the lap belt and tuck it into the first lap belt guide. This is really important. It's gonna help you not confuse the lap and the shoulder belt. Trust me, it's easy to confuse it. Once you've done that, pull your shoulder belt. Try not to pull it all the way out if you can avoid it. And with just as little as possible, get it around the back of the car seat and into the guide for the shoulder belt in the back of the seat. You're gonna stretch the lap belt back across. You need to put it into the other lap belt guide. And to get it buckled in many situations, you might need to stand behind the seat. And if your belt is really short, you may need to hold firmly on the latch plate. That's the part with the silver tongue and push the seat with your body weight to allow you to buckle it. If your belt is longer, like this one is, then you have lots of extra room to get it buckled easily. Then I do need to make the seat belt lock. So I'm gonna pull the shoulder belt slowly out to the end, let it in. That ratcheting you hear tells me I'm in the locking mode. Double check that you're properly reclined. The red line is parallel to the pavement. Then I'm gonna get it tight. Stand behind the seat. You're going to have your hands on the shoulder belt. This hand will push this way. This hand will pull this way. I'm gonna sway the seat side to side as I pull. And then I'll check that it's tight. Sit next to it, hold right near where the lap belt is, pull towards and away from you, and it should move less than an inch. So that was nice and tight. Once you've arrived and it's time to take it out, hold the shoulder belt, unbuckle it, reach around the back, Take the shoulder belt out of the guide, lift it up and over the seat, and now you're free and clear.